hi everyone and welcome in this video we are going to see that how we can publish our dht11 sensor data from node mcu device to our modbus tcp server okay so node mcu will act as a modbus tcp server as well as modbus tcp client so node mcu will start a modbus tcp server inside it and as well as it will publish dht11 sensor data into that server and through the mode scan application in our laptop or some other application we can read those data so here is the code in our blog that you can copy and directly run it and only change you have to made in this code is you have to change your ssid and password here so whatever wi-fi you are connected to you have to uh, enter your ssid of that wi-fi and you have to enter the password of that wi-fi here and then you can run the code okay so let me open my arduino so here you can see i have opened my arduino and my temperature data will be published at holding register zero and my humidity will publish at holding register one so you can see here so in 40001 i'll get my temperature data in 40002 i'll get my humidity data okay so you can see here modbus dot add register so temperature register address is zero it means 40001 and modbus dot add holding register humidity register address which is my 40002 okay so here we have defined this two thing and whatever reading i am getting from dht sensor that reading that temperature and humidity value i'm going to uh, put it in this holding register so you can see modbus dot holding register temperature register address we are going to put value of temperature in humidity register address we are going to put the value of humidity okay so we will upload this code to our node mcu device and then we will read those data in our mode scan software so let me upload okay so sketch is now compiling okay our sketch is compiled and you can see it is connecting with my node mcu and it is uploading our code okay so let me open our serial monitor here so my node mcu is connecting to my wi-fi so you can see 192.168.23.46 i is the ip address of my node mcu okay this ip address i am going to use in my modbus client so here is my modbus client name mode scan 32 let me go to connection and then connect so you can see 192.168.23.46 is the ip address of my node mcu which is acting as a modbus tcp server as well as modbus tcp client so i'm going to connect my this mode scan 32 client with my node mcu using this ip address and port number 502 so if i press ok so you can see the value 29 and 37 let me reset control ok so you can see the updated values here 29 and 37 so if i blow some air into this so you can see the humidity value got changed okay so it was previously something else now it is something else so you can see our humidity value got changed okay so this is how you can publish your dht11 sensor data or any other sensor data from your node mcu to directly modbus tcp device also you can read this data directly into ignition scada or some other scada as well so in the future videos we will cover how you can read those data into ignition scada okay so i hope everything is clear about this video and let me go to code again and let us refresh the code so this is the import of all library and we are defining dht type 11 so it's a dht 11 sensor and we have connected our dht 11 to d4 of node mcu and then we are initializing dht initializing morbus and we are defining the temperature register address and humidity register address and then we have to connect with our wi-fi so we have set up our wi-fi connection and all here and then uh, we have to run the void loop so in void loop uh, the 
in NodeMC, you will continuously going to read our DHT11 sensor value and it will continuously publish those values to our Modbus TCP server. Okay, so I hope everything is clear and if you have any doubt in this, you can ask me in the comment section or you can send a mail or you can also ping me on Telegram. So we will meet you in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye and thank you.